Hey, what's up guys? This is Valid Cameron from June Light. Today, I want to do a quick review of GNBD Smoke Project 4K TIFF files. What caught me, you know, attention here is these uh, images or smoke files are really killer. They look excellent. When you take a look at them, there's a lot of options and variety to these and they look just awesome. Now, it's only 260 images, all right? So it's not an animation. You cannot animate these files. Um, and there is some additional um, bonus files, okay, included. Smoke from a, a jet. And these are pretty large files, right? 4K TIFF files, and it says it has an alpha channel. So let's put it to a test. So inside Photoshop CC, when you want to load these, you can have a large, extra large preview here and you can actually see how they look like, uh, which is rather cool. Let me just quickly show you what you're loading. Um, so that's awesome. The issue is when you load it here, it doesn't show the transparency channel. A PNG uh, file would show. I can just show you how that looks. So TIFF is not my favorite, you know, file format. I don't use it. A PNG is, in my opinion, a lot better, more flexible, and it just shows you directly here how. Um, no, it just works straight from from the back, right? And the thing is, it doesn't with the TIFF file, so it involves a little bit more trickery to get it to work. So first of all, you gotta open the channel. And at the very bottom, you have that um, alpha channel here, right? But you can't use it straight. So what you wanna do here is uh, select the alpha channel. Now use Control A to select all, Control C to copy, use Command instead of Control on a Mac. Now you have the alpha channel copied, so you can pretty much move that to, side, to the side and now on the layer here, you can create a mask, okay? Now, Alt-click here. Now, Control-V to paste the alpha channel. So now, you've got it properly masked with, a, you know, uh, transparency. So now, if you add a back, backdrop to this, let's, for instance, use, uh, let's uh, grab this one over here. All right, and then you can grab the smoke effect, uh, clicking on the main layer, Control A to select all, Control C to copy, and then go here and paste. Um, oops, my bad, you have to combine the layers first. Now, we don't wanna combine using flatten image because flattening this will remove the uh, transparency. So it's a little bit tricky, you gotta go back now we've got to insert a new layer. Now we've got to instead use a merge visible function. I'm sorry it's outside the screen, but if you, if you click here, instead of flatten image, you choose merge visible. When you do that, it combines into a single uh, image that has the, the, the transparency preserved. So it's a little bit more tricky to get it to work. Now we can copy it. And now we can go in here and actually overlay it and it's gonna work properly. So that is just awesome, right? Now we can scale it and move it anywhere you like. So um, that's how we use it inside Photoshop. Now, a, another way of using them, obviously, is upon loading. Let me just go back to the other folder. All right, so upon loading here, you can also use obviously screen. So instead of using all that trickery I've been using right now to enable Photoshop to load them, you can just load it and then copy it just the way it is, go back to this render, paste it and use screen as a blending mode. So this is also a way to get this uh, smoke to show up in your render. It's not gonna be the same, but it's still a quick way of doing that. Obviously, you can then play with opacity and overlay and play in you know, add several of these effects on top of each other and really combine your own cool uh, smoke effect. On top of that, when you add it here, 
and let's say it has a awkward you know, starting point here. It's kind of rough, right? So you can add a mask to that. Click here, use a gradient, use black and white, and then just use shift to apply a kind of a soft edge here at the bottom. So it kind of grows upon you, right? It can do that. So it's pretty cool. Now, let's move on to a, a video editing software. So this is a Movie Studio Platinum 13. And I'm going to just import the um, images here. So add media. I'm going to go into the content folder here, general. And just choose the first one and then click on open sequence and click on open. Now these are large files. Like I said, they are pretty large in dimension. In my opinion, a little bit too big and too large for smoke. Smoke is not that a detailed, you know, uh, imagery. You don't have to have that high of a resolution for smoke effects to look great. So first, I would love to have this in a little bit smaller resolution and also PNG that is more usable format. So I'm just gonna use pay, uh, pal here, uh, open, and let me just remove this layer here real quick. So we've got now here, let me just put it up here. So like I said, it's a little bit too uh, short, you know, burst of, of sequences to use as an animation. So it's more like it's, it's taken from an animation and then you've got, you know, different file, files you can choose from and use them, you know, whatever image you like, you can just use this one or this one, right? And here, the the transparency loads, all right? It loads, so that is a good thing. But some of them have, you know, um, a background here at the end. So it's kind of like a sky backdrop. Uh, so let me now add something underneath. All right, let me pull here and add something, just an image. There we go. I'm gonna put it in the background. So I'm gonna create an additional video track. And I'm gonna put it below here and just add this image underneath. And you know, this is how it's supposed to load in Photoshop, right? So here the transparency works. Uh, it loads the uh, the images, you know, we can see clearly that it adds them to the image, which looks awesome. So this was beautiful. Um, and I love the variety because you can just scroll and just pick any moment of these, you know. Uh, obviously you can also move them around for instance, here we can just choose the uh, pan tool, and we can you know move move this smoke around, place it wherever you like. So I like those types of, of things. So it was pretty great in a movie studio, and so then there's th these additional uh, bonus files here, and uh, these are pretty cool looking. So that's it, guys. Uh, great package, great looks, uh, doesn't really load well into Photoshop, works well in video editing software, looks awesome. TIFF files dislike the format, I would prefer to have it in PNG, more usable, more flexibility, uh, lower file sizes, and I would not uh, have it in 4K, it's a little bit too large for smoke effects. Uh, smoke effects don't have that much detail, so I would, you know, Probably preferred in 2K. It's easier to work with smaller files. That's it for for this video, guys. If you want to pick up this package, click on the link below. Thank you so much for watching. Have fun, and I'll see you next time.